So Comic-Con happened a few weeks ago and we got a lot of big announcements from Marvel like two new Avengers movies and an 18 part Daredevil series and I've talked about these announcements in a different video but there was another Marvel announcement that really caught my eye and there's a lot to break down and that announcement was Spider-Man freshman year. Marvel gave us a lot of information about this project but it still leaves me asking the question what is this series? So let's talk about what we learned. Hello and welcome to Cinemades and if you're new here it's important to know that I'm a massive Spider-Man fan and so the thought of a new Spider-Man series set in the MCU is super exciting to me and prior to Comic-Con 2022 we did know this series was in development but all we knew was that this show would essentially be the origin story of Tom Holland's Peter Parker in the MCU. It would be canon to the MCU and would tell the story of what happened to him prior to Civil War. Now this sounded fun, Marvel only owned the animated rights to Spidey so if we want to see him on Disney Plus it has to be in a project like this. It could help to flesh out his backstory, tell us more about Uncle Ben and build more of a connection between Peter and Aunt May, adding more emotion to how her story ends in No Way Home. But setting it in this time period before Civil War also has some limitations. The whole series would have to take place in his basic homemade suit as he hasn't yet been given his classic suit by Stark. A minor upgrade. Oh. He can't really meet any other heroes except Iron Man because Stark was the first one he met and he can't really face any proper villains because the whole point of the Vulture was that he was Peter's first supervillain. We also heard previously it wouldn't feature Tom Holland as the voice of Peter Parker. I don't know why Tom Holland isn't doing it, whether it's rights issues with Sony or money or that Tom Holland is too busy, but that wasn't surprising because he was voiced by someone else in What If. My mom, dad, Uncle Ben, Mr. Stark, now happy, I've, I've lost a lot. And that guy did a great job and I hope they go for that same voice actor this time around. So going into Comic-Con, that's all we knew. However, at Comic-Con, this project got way more interesting based on the art that we saw. So we have an official plot synopsis and that goes like this. The animated series follows Peter Parker on his way to becoming Spider-Man in the MCU, starting with his freshman year of high school, of course. Peter's journey in the series will be unlike we've ever seen and a style that celebrates the character's early comic book route. And so this sounds exciting. It sounds like classic Spider-Man, but it also seems to imply that this is canon to the MCU. Yet things start to get weird when we look at the art they showed. So firstly we see Spider-Man's homemade suit. This is certainly different to the one that we saw in Civil War and Homecoming but okay maybe he had a different suit before that one in Civil War. That could make sense but then we see his classic Spidey suit which we know Tony Stark gave to Peter. So immediately that's a bit weird if this is set before Civil War because he didn't have that suit. And they also showed us four other suits. One which looked like a Future Foundation suit and three others which look like suits used in the Identity crisis comics. Next we see pictures of Peter's friends. Some notable inclusions are Amadeus Cho who in the comics becomes a totally awesome Hulk. We also see Lonnie Lincoln who is usually known as Tombstone and he's a bit older and also Harry Osborn. That's right Harry Osborn who we previously did not know existed in the MCU. We also don't see Ned or MJ or any of his classmates from Homecoming. And linking on from Harry Osborn we then see pictures of Norman Osborn who seems to be taking on the role of Tony Stark. Like if you recognize this picture it's because it's based off the scene in Civil War where Peter and Stark meet. Oh, Mr. Parker. So it seems like Norman Osborn is replacing Tony Stark as the mentor figure for Peter. Now in No Way Home it's explicitly stated that Oscorp doesn't exist and Peter clearly doesn't know who Norman Osborn is. Norman Osborn? Oscorp doesn't exist. So this can't be set in the mainline MCU universe. So while we are saying this takes place in the MCU as Peter's origin, it seems to be more like a what if story. And the what if moment is what if Norman Osborn replaces Tony Stark as Peter's mentor. So I think the big change here is that Norman will recruit Peter and then send him to a different school. The school from Homecoming Films is Midtown High and it has a blue and yellow logo and color scheme. Here we see the school and it's orange and black with an R logo. So it seems like Peter has gone to a different school and this is how he meets different classmates. We also see some classic villains including Rhino, Chameleon and also Scorpion who we met in Homecoming. And then we see Doc Ock. Further confirmation that this can't be canon as Peter had no idea who Dr. Octopus was when he met Alfred Molina's Otto in No Way Home. What was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. Daredevil voiced by Charlie Cox is also appearing in this show so having Cox return is one form of MCU connection but based on what we know Tom Holland's Peter has never met Daredevil in the MCU at least not until No Way Home and he didn't even know who that was. I'm a really good lawyer. And also Doctor Strange is in this who Peter had never met prior to Infinity War. I'm Peter by the way. 
Doctor Strange. So based on all this information, it seems like this cannot be in the main MCU timeline, so it must take place in the MCU multiverse. I think to market this series, they really need to clear up what this series is, because right now, the plot description implies this is the main MCU Spidey's origin story. It's weird that there's some MCU connections, like Charlie Cox's voice in Daredevil, or the same MCU apartment, but other factors seem different. It will be interesting to see if other cast members from the MCU return, like Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, or Michael Mando as the Scorpion. Since since Comic-Con, the head of streaming has said that this is a multiverse story where Norman replaces Tony Stark. So that's further confirmation as to what this story is, and that's what the art seemed to imply. So they just need to make this really clear in the marketing and the plot description. So how do I feel about this? Well, on one hand, I would have liked the more simplistic origin story set in the proper MCU timeline to flesh out Peter's story. But we don't really need that, and that comes with restrictions. They have restrictions on what types of stories they could tell to try and make it fit into the timeline before Civil War. By doing an alternate universe story, the stories they can tell are far more interesting, creative and different and that's exciting to me. But it is weird that they're acting like this is set in the main MCU based on the plot description and connections like Charlie Cox. It seems like they're just creating a new animated Spidey series and they're acting like it's in the MCU to get people more invested. This also means they can now tell a more traditional Spider-Man story in the MCU which is super exciting to me. But it also makes me frustrated. Why didn't they go down this route in the first place for the actual films? It would have been awesome to have a Norman Osborn around Peter from the start of his MCU story. When I pictured Spider-Man in the MCU before the films got made, I kind of imagined it to look like this. Peter learning to be Spider-Man, he's using technology, he's meeting classic Spider-Man characters, but also interacting with other Marvel heroes while having his own stories. As much as I do enjoy MCU Spider-Man, I do wish it had more classic Spidey elements in it, and that's what this series looks like it's doing. Maybe this represents a shift in tone, and the main MCU is going to go down a similar route in the films. Honestly, I really hope so. Overall, this is super different than I was expecting. It looks fun and unique, while still feeling traditionally Spider-Man. It looked different from other animated Spider-Man shows, but it's very clearly not the MCU Spider-Man origin story like the plot description promises. And so while I now really want to see this show, I truly think Marvel need to answer the question, what is Spider-Man freshman year? Comment down below your thoughts on Spider-Man freshman year. Are you interested in this? What do you want to see in this? Would you have preferred a more classic traditional origin story for the actual Peter Parker in the MCU? I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like the video, it helps my channel out. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this every Friday. But for now, thanks for watching Cinemaze.